Okay, all right. My name's Bridget McDonald, and in this week's podcast on She's Actually Really Young, we're going to collect a lit book by John Steinbeck of Mice and Men. This tragic story from start to finish was set in the 1930s during a prolonged period of atomic depression, the Great Depression. It's only come about because of the Second World War in 1939. At this time, there were a lot of failed business, harsh poverty, and unemployment, meaning migrant workers lost to come to part of America, including California, to do manual labor jobs. At this period in time, men were considered higher up in society and were more important than women. In the height of racism, women were still rather than close people. The stops of the story shows two main characters who are unlikely friends, George and Lily, in a relationship between these two friends is very unlikely because of Benny and his mental immaturity holding the mind of a child. He realises he relies on George of his pure survival while George on the other hand leaves Benny as a companion get work and he also promised not to worry to pass me. Sky joining us is the actress who played George Roman in this film. Tommy Atkin and Andy Romero. The right guys, thanks for joining us. <laughs> right, Tommy on the new head. Is it especially for you to be not sharp? Jane, <laughs> did you find it difficult to play a character on the alleged difficulty? Yeah, at first it was a struggle with childlike minds, but I got it. Oh, what point you put on your All done. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. 
all the problems, get away from people. So why did you marry Curly? Well, first I didn't get the job from the man who said I'm an actress and I have a natural beautiful face. Yeah. And so I had no choice but to marry Curly. Uh, well, I'm really sorry to hear that. I mean, you pretty much had a hard time. Um, I have one more question for you. Um, why, why did you like, why did you sort of make friends and want to join on to the idea with um, Lenny and, and George about them, their new farm and thing? Well, they were talking about their dream, which was not going to happen. Also, um, um, that was the only place where I could express my feelings and where I could feel a bit stronger and feel them. Give him a round of applause. It's a book based on the American dream written by John Steinbeck in the 1930s. This book talks about two young men that go in an adventure to find a job. When they find a job, find a decent job, there were characters that interfered with it. You will have to read the book to find out. In my opinion, this book is five stars because its story and how it's written. Everything throughout the book links to the unexpected but predictable ending. Now that you know the basic about this novel, there is some questions for you. The only price I can give you is a shout on your of your Twitter page. So you have 15 seconds to tweet the right answer using hashtag THSG Radio. When was the book written? At Ria Patel in the late 1930s. Correct. How, who is the author of the book? John Steinbeck at Bridget. This person isn't getting a shout out because she's supporting really hated men. Why do characters go on an adventure? To go on holidays? Ah, oh, I'm really sorry, but that's wrong. Someone wasn't listening. The correct answer is to get a job. Well, that's all we have time for. But but we we like to make everyone feel welcome. Therefore, we're going to have a second interview and a quiz in Portuguese. O que que você acha da história? Eu achei a história meio triste porque por causa da doença de Lenny, ele começou a fazer coisas más e erradas. O que mudaria de uma história se pudesse? O mudaria as atitudes do personagem? Se pudesse falar com o autor da história, o que lhe perguntar? Eu iria perguntar de onde surgiu a história e o que o inspirou a escrevê-la. All done? Lovely, they deserve a round of applause, guys. So now Curly's heard his wife. Why have we never heard your real name in the novel? Um, well, in the time I know that it was set, respectfully, it was almost non existent. So we thought 
we might as well show that by calling uh, blue cones white. Cones white. What do you think went in the book then killed you? Um, well, it really was quite traumatic and tragic to be in this. The way it happened so suddenly and unexpectedly really takes a toll on the reader and it, and it makes you feel bad for her as you realise that all she wanted was friends and a bit of affection that she wouldn't do anything bad. Well, that's all for you today, folks. We hope you liked the special edition of Mice and Men episode, and we'll see you next time. See you radio office. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>